Alrighty, so we got Anthony all kitted out in my winter gear here. So he's got a 90 liter Pintler. It's just massive on him. And uh, my two person tent as well. I got my full GDT pack ready to go here. So this is gonna be my first full experiment with all my gear. Uh, I got my bear spray in the front. Uh, yeah, let's go have some fucking fun hiking. I hope, I hope, hands off to hike I go. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, it's off to hike I go. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. All right, just crossing the, oh, what is this? The Saskatchewan. Oh. Hey, you're welcome. And the viewpoint. Glacier Lake Lookout, even though it's not Glacier Lake. Bam! Man, that is gorgeous. Take a look at what we're looking at here, folks. Alrighty, just walking along the trail alongside the river valley. Got something under a kilometer before we start heading uphill and up and over the pass. Talked to a couple folks, said there was very minimal snow. Alrighty, about three and a half kilometers in. Coming to the creek, which we follow up and over the summit or the up and over the pass here so we're going to stop get some water enjoy a few moments before we continue on nice spots in the shade to relax here Alrighty, we've been climbing for a little bit, maybe three quarters of a click. Uh, fourth uh, bridge we've come to. Obviously, as we go higher up, this creek gets smaller and smaller. Bridges get smaller and smaller. Woo! As we get closer to the summit, dealing with a little bit of snow. Nothing worse than a post hole of a couple inches. And ooh, fun steep incline. Just before four o'clock, we're just heading down to the lake. We're within 100 meters or so. There we are, crossing the creek one more time. This is the creek that fills, or one of the creeks that fills Glacier Lake. Oh, cool, I think this is one of the ones that comes out of the side of the mountain. So just layers and layers of filtration there. So right before we get to the lake, there's this um, sign in this tree. And I don't know if it's real or not, or if this tree has grown around it, but it says Topographical Survey, 1928. And then Manager Briarwood, and I think it's just a list of names. So like Tarvis, Slimy, I don't know what that all says, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Got another sign here. This is, huh, could be a hundred years old. It used to say how many miles. So that is very old. Oh, I don't even want to touch it. Look how close it is. That nail is just about to rot through. Yeah, and here's the sign. Glacier Lake, Saskatchewan Crossing. So we'll be there in a second. Alrighty, 
we've arrived. Just have to head down the lake and walk over to the campsite. Welcome to Glacier Lake, folks. GL9, Glacier Lake. A couple different spots here. This sort of is a terraced one. This is one spot right here for a small tent. And there's more as we come over to the main camp. There's the shelter. If you wanna camp back there, you can. There's the outhouse back there. But me and Anthony will probably get something down around here, close to where everything else is. Some primitive tables. There's one uh, fish oil parks table. And there is where the camp's gonna to be tonight. Right up here is the shelter I'll show you really quick. And I'll go up there in a little bit and show you more in there. So this is the cultural resource. That's a cultural resource site. I didn't stick my head in here last time, but there's space to lay down. The cabinet up there. Yeah, I've seen people pitch a tent in here before, which if it was pouring rain, may not be a bad idea. Conquering hero. Na, 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 na. I thought you died. That was a bitch. I seasoned. So these are gonna go over the fire, heat, heat through basically, and then we're gonna base them in the sauce and they'll be ready to go. Just put them directly onto this burning log here. There's the Lyle Glacier in the background. Thank you, Patrick Malkin, for supplying these uh, sticky ribs for us to have here in the backcountry. Go check out the granary in South Red Deer. All right, as you can see, we're getting some color on the ribs there. We're gonna now get some ginger into there. All right, now the ginger's in there. Have a little stir again, toss those ribs around. All right, everything's heated through. We've got some color on the outside. Time to get that granary sticky rib sauce. Uh, I don't know what's in it. It's a secret ingredient. You'll have to come to the granary to try it. All righty, guys. So we got our sticky ribs here. Sauce is all reduced down. It's gonna be nice and sticky. Biggest thing I realized is we don't have uh, napkins to clean up after ourselves. Gonna have to be finger licking good. Okay, it's a very close table. Cheers. This slides right out, geez. Oh yeah. Alrighty, so I got my uh, filtered smart water glacier water bottle with uh, my Wildberry Noon Sport, and I'm gonna try it with some of the cherry whiskey that Anthony brought along. Look how pretty it is now. Let try still need to dissolve a little more, then I'll try my backcountry cocktail. Uh, Anthony of the uh, Curve Lake tribe, can you give us a war cry? <laughs> Fuck you. That is a very quiet war cry. All right. How about a welcoming a tree to the fire cry? Welcoming a tree to the fire? Yes. Ah! <laughs> so I was looking down off to my left there and 
sort of tucked in underneath there was this bag. It's a fire starting kit. So they got some like uh, natural like mini log fire starters. There's some, um, I don't even know what to say what that is. Some sort of wool. And then someone has even taken toilet paper and stuffed them full of uh, shredded cardboard. And if you want, there's some gin as well. So, cool people. Yeah, there's another wet fire starting tinder in there. So you can get any fire going here. Problem with Glacier Lake, as with most of these back, the popular backcountry ones, it's just picked over, you can see for wood. So we found some driftwood and Anthony found a nice big log a little bit up the trail. And yeah, so now we got this fire here. But that log there on the right, it's gonna go quite a while tonight. Quarter after eight. Great thing about Alberta in springtime is you get uh, uh, daylight till late. So the sun probably is going to go down around 9, 9.15 tonight. And we'll have light till 10, 10.15, 10 10.30. Um, and in a month from now, uh, we'll have light, light until 11.30 or so, especially up in Jasper. So kind of cool. You don't really need a headlamp because you'll just be sleeping those four or five hours when it's dark. Wake up. Uh, it'll uh, get light this morning or tomorrow morning probably around 4.45, 5 a.m. Alrighty, so we took the brain off the 90 liter Pintler and just stuffed all of our food into that. I didn't actually bring a proper uh, bivy sack to hang uh, our food here. Um, and Lake Minnewonka has lockers, so we're gonna go and uh, show Anthony how to hang uh, food in the bear hang. The bear hangs here at Glacier are up behind the shelter. Just follow the signs. Here we go. So you see they got clips here. So you can tie your bag in a knot like I've done. It's in the garbage bag, so it's kind of waterproof. And ring it up. Oh, here, good. I have a cameraman. There we go. And then you just run it up. Out of the reach of any animals. And down here. Clip it again. Sometimes this is like this. You should have a clip down here. So all you do is clip that onto there and you're good to go. Maybe just looking out into it. All right, it's 10 o'clock. I think he just went to bed. I'm shortly to fall in the next few minutes here. Finally getting a little bit cold. Uh, so time to tuck ourselves into bed. Fire is pretty much out. <coughs> Good night from Glacier Lake. Well, it's about 10 to 8. The birds are chirping. Time to get to move on with the day. So within like three minutes of getting up, um, routine is uh, deflate the air mattress, pull out that in the sleeping bag when you first get out. Go and get your sleeping bag into your backpack, which gives us a base for it to stand up and put your air mattress down. A few minutes more, I'm gonna have my tent put away, and uh, then my main set of equipment is away and ready to hike if I'd like to. So always make sure that you rehook these cables. Antlered animals like caribou, deer, moose, elk will come through here and get their, uh, their uh, antlers hooked on loose wires. This is dangerous enough. Like all against here, but imagine if they were like hanging loose all around here, it'd be even worse. So our bag is fine. Nothing mess with it in the night. Pull it down now. All right, here's the outhouse. Last time I couldn't get here because there's so much snow last time. Pretty standard looking outhouse. Closed. 
a little gross. And uh, no toilet paper. Here's my view. Not bad. All right, Glacier Lake. See you later. Till next time. Thanks for not being too windy. Alrighty, half an hour to climb the hill to Glacier Lake. Two just quick breaks. So a couple guys coming in. Sounds like they started on trail at seven, so no backpacks, no reason. We can't be done by 11, 11.30. Alrighty, heading down now. So we're end of May, this is like June 1st is tomorrow. And we're still dealing with snow. So higher snowpack this year, Glacier Lake. The summit here, I think, is only like 1,550 meters. Back at our first break spot from yesterday. Actually, sorry, no, this is like our, it's the first break stop going up the hill. So five and a half kilometers an hour and 20, 25, solid pace. Got another three and a half left to go to the car. Ah, such a nice casual walk this morning. We're getting back down to the river delta. Small little climb up on the bench there. Back down at the bridge. Oh, beautiful. Glacier Lake, May 30th, 2022, done. There's a parking lot. Good hike, Anthony? Pretty good. There you go. A little winded. High five, bud. <laughs> 